Hello YouTube, Jar of Bricks here with another update. So this time I'm not actually going to be doing anything Lego related in the sense that I'm going to be sorting out the walls. So if we glance over to my desk, I've got two rolls of sky wallpaper. We've got some no nails for some architrave and some wallpaper paste. So what I want to do with the architrave is, if you look at the lights, uh, you can see it's lighting up the room nicely, but I don't want to have to see the lights. I just want to see the light from the lights. But because of the pitch of the roof, it was always very difficult to do that. So what I'm doing is using this architrave, I'm going to no nails it to the ceiling there so that you won't be able to see the light, just the light being shone. Uh, so I'm going to do that all the way around and then wallpaper down uh, to this, hopefully. So let's get on with it. Should have given me enough space to work with now and I should be able to do all of this section here and then I will move all of this over to this side to do the more awkward angle section. that's it so please bear in mind I'm not a painter and decorator it does look a little bit rubbish in some parts and you know I'm, I'm putting paper direct on that brick there so that's why it looks a little bit wonky and uh, the bricks are set back there so it was hard to line it up in in that corner there you've got that black line that's just um, duct tape and that's because I had to tape it to the ceiling because where those boxes are it's just a gap as this is I got my fireplace comes up from the lounge up that side and from the dining room upside and comes up through the middle of the house and that's why it's that shape so um, I had to tape it to the ceiling there and, and just dangle it down and then um, same at the bottom um, it isn't completely level as I'm putting it direct on plasterboards there's a lot of bubbles um, 
it does hopefully when it dries a bit it will look a little bit better but all in all i think it's a massive improvement so i've managed to hide the lights with that architrave so you've only just got these two sections here and then in the opposite corner um, as to being able to actually see the lights i did run out of wallpaper here but i was only going to go up that strip to the ceiling anyway so i wasn't that bothered that can just stay as it is i'm not spending another 15 quid on another roll just to finish off that little section and i didn't match up the clouds on this one and again it was just because when you're trying to match up patterns you fly through the wallpaper a lot more so anyway that's it so i'm going to put more lights I'm going to do exactly the same as I did here, but I'm going to do it about that height. Uh, put the architrave all the way around again so you can't see it. And then um, just tape the uh, LED strips to the ceiling. And hopefully um, that will cast a little bit more light as it is a bit darker down here than it previously was. I've got this light that I can put on here. Where is it? Like so. <clears throat> and I've got um, another one there and on the other side of, of it as well but yeah it does cast a lot more shadow now it is a lot more darker than it previously was just because the architrave but um, all in all I think it looks better not actually being able to see the lights and then when I do put another strip of LED lights uh, approximately 500 mil higher then it would look uh, brighter again hopefully really pleased with the way it looks you look at the skyscrapers there with the clouds in the background uh, now I've just got to fix all of this mess look at it I feel like I've just got my city to look the way I wanted it to look so start again uh, one thing I am going to do which uh, I want I wish I had done but I'd already started before I realized and that is down this um, main strip here this road that I had um, it was only um, the road going through. I had very little pavement, so it was a very dark. You know, the light is coming from here. So when it hits the buildings, the, sh the shadow of the buildings were casting um, over to the left. So it was up really dark. So I'm hoping to open it up a little bit, um, make it a little bit wider, have a bit more of a paved area. And to do that, I'm going to have to sacrifice a bit of where the Market Street was. Well, I've only just finished the Market Street, but I'm going to have to uh, uh, make it a little bit smaller. And also, I'm thinking about moving the Palace Cinema from this side and putting it at that block there. Um, and then possibly getting rid of the road that was going up down Market Street and just make the whole thing a paved area as it would be closer to the Market Street because I am putting some plates down this one to make that wider so that it is brighter. So these, these are the plans. With all plans though, you know that they do change as you start to put it into practice. The thing that you didn't think about always crops up and you have to readjust what you're going to do. Um, and then um, I'm gonna finish this side. I have just bought um, five new packs of row plates uh, that's the new five packs and the existing what 12 15 packs that i had previously so hopefully that will be enough um, to finish up a lot of this strip here with the new row bricks so i'd like to thank london bridge bricks for um, highlighting where the row plates were on sale and it was five pound off each one so instead of costing me 89 pound it only cost me 63 so thanks there london bridge bricks so we, the rebuild of this city is going to have to be in part two as this video is getting quite long so check in next week and you'll see that this mess becomes something resembling the city you have previously seen so thank you for watching if you haven't already please subscribe if you like the changes i've done uh, give us a thumbs up if you have any suggestions to improve it uh, please oh, suggest away and uh, i will see you back next week with part two the rebuild